This looks dangerous. We did this once before on the TV show, so. Hmm. I think uh, probably raise that up and then slide it over onto it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do, is just get a... Forklift is like from the forties. I've been restoring it. I put a new seat on it in this toolbox and we're painting it. We're spray painting it. Okay. You get over there? Yeah. Now how'd you mount this box over here? The same it was mounted on the, the other. Might want to tilt it up a little. And then, um, we recently repaired this car. The, uh, we had done a TV show with Brian Johnson called Cars That Rock, and the rear tire had come off and totally ripped off the fender. So this entire fender that you see on here is new. It had been <laughs> like completely ripped off. And uh, I'll show you, this is our 59 that we're working on. We're getting it ready. It's probably gonna go to paint in the next couple of days. So we're stripping it down, getting everything off of it because it's gonna be completely blasted. Stripped down to nothing. This was our parts car, our, six, our other 1960 parts car, also a Miller Meteor. And I bought it just because it had a couple of redeeming features, one of which was that other fender. So what, what happened is this entire fender was removed and welded and grafted onto the other car. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is in Ghostbusters, they were originally going to use a checker like this for the Ecto. The original concept design was a checker. So, that's interesting. But we're getting this 59 ready. There's the seat. Oh, we don't want to miss the marriage. Here we go. Get back over here. I probably should be doing this instead of holding the camera. Do you know how to shift it over that way? It needs to go the other way. You don't even have to back up. You can just move the whole table over. That might be as far as you can go. Yeah, you need to put the brake on. So you gotta do the rest of that manually. I should probably help. You can put like cardboard on the roof or something. Just open the door. Yeah, but I can get a ladder too. You don't need a door. Or you don't need a ladder. Just open the door. Climb up on this mofo. It's a tank. <laughs> All right. Actually, Cole should be back here. Hey, you don't need any of that. 
Maybe. Oh, that thing? Yeah. I thought you were, I thought you were trying to find cardboard. They might bring it over on this side. Okay. Yeah, because we're gonna do we're gonna use the forks. So we're gonna slide it this way, <laughs> and then when we're about where we want it to be, yeah. we're gonna go down and lift the valve so that it brings it down. And then we'll pull it the Dude, you could totally like walk on that roof. It's a tank. This little skinny bastard can walk on the road. <laughs> All right. All we need to do is we grab that. We're going toward the passenger side. Yeah. What about that rear bit over there? We're good. Ah, that's stuck on the fork over there. It's okay. We're good, though. Did you get that lined up with that bracket there? Keep pulling. Well, the, the, the little fork is keeping it from... Well, yeah, but all we need to do is get this over here lined up, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the forks and then slide back. I'm in the hole over here. Here, hold on. Let me do this. Here, let me... Uh... I think it's not. It's not going in the hole. <laughs> Reminds me of my wedding night. Try as I might, I could not get it in. Until I applied more PSI. Need a little grindy grindy. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but uh, using a forklift, uh, if you have one, is really cool. Most people don't have a forklift laying around. We do. There's an obstruction or something there. It in whacking on the drums. Maybe we could raise it up and then hit it from the bottom. Yeah, we could do that. Start up there. These ones lined up over here. So we still got to get the uh, the rotating lights mounted, all the decals on, sirens hooked up, all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's gonna be cool. Now, I know there's a whole bunch of you Ghostbuster purists out there that are gonna start giving me all kinds of guff about how it's not a 1959 and it doesn't have the right taillights. This ain't right and that ain't right. Blah, 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 blah,
there's probably only a couple of these 59s Miller Meteors in the world and uh, being that the car is a 60 um, we're making it close enough you know not everything on this car is going to be totally screen accurate it's all about the spirit of Ghostbusters and the thing about the Ghostbuster community that's really fun is these guys they'll make a They'll make a Ghostbuster car out of anything. As long as you got a station wagon, we could take this CTSV, which I've seen done before. They'll take a Dodge Magnum, they'll take an HHR, a PT Cruiser. I've seen Cherokees. I've seen every kind of long roof station wagony thing you can think of turned into an Ecto 1. And the Ecto 1 uh, Ghostbuster community is a lot more forgiving because they just know that finding a 59 like the one we have around the building is virtually impossible. You're just not gonna be able to do it very easily. So um, so for any of you uh, know-it-all prop geniuses out there that are gonna start talking all kinds of jibba jabba, foo, not interested. There's a lot of great things on this car that are legit. You know, we have, we have the pretty much the correct bottles here we've got the real propello ray and we made a replica of the grimes light there's so many really cool things on the car that it's pretty legit what's cool about this car there's the original interior the original millimeter interior which i mean check out the pattern on this they just don't make stuff like they used to it's all completely original Pretty awesome. Like this, this speckled floor in here. The rollers. People's died in it. People's died in it. This stuff up here on the dash is all legit. That's the right stuff correct rearview mirror we tried where we could but I mean look how immaculate this thing is seriously just go find a 1960 Cadillac in this condition you know it's pretty awesome so this car has been signed by uh, Ivan Reitman Jason Reitman Dan Aykroyd Ernie Hudson and Ray Parker jr. Left a spot here for Bill Murray. If that ever happens, that'll be cool. No, these aren't the original Code 3 bars. These are actually new Wallow bars that we modified, painted the bottoms and the top silver to a, kind of appear like the stainless. But they're bright and they're new and they're shiny and they're gonna look cool. You know, you gotta work with what you got. And um, the client's gonna be happy with this because if you wanted brand new bars, these are brand new out of the box, so. There's a ghost. Oh my god, there's a ghost. Is that Slimer? Arrgh. You're out of trap. It's the Scaleri brother. <laughs> I definitely smell something. Stop. Good, keep going. Keep going. I got a spot. That's good. 
hope you enjoyed uh, that little glimpse into what it's like working here at Bob's Prop Shop. Uh, uh, by working, I mean I hold the camera while I'm, these guys work. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so we're getting that car ready to go to our customer uh, down in San Antonio where it'll be working this life. Uh, and we'll be doing that 59. We're working on the 59. I'm going to go back in my office. And, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out, my Deli Block. If you are into Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Knight Rider, all that kind of cool stuff, you should be a subscriber and make sure to turn your notifications on because I do a lot of cool live videos. And you don't want to miss any of those because when I do them, they're pretty neat. And then I usually delete them. Anyway, stay tuned. More to come. Video Bob. Mm-hmm.